I don't know. I just don't know. We have been up and down this crime scene over and over again. The letter says that the key's here, right? Yeah. Somewhere here in this warehouse. Well, what do we do now? Only one thing we can do. Listen, sir, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I, I mean, last time we were in Mexico, it was international waters, and there was, there was a lot of tequila being passed around. I don't feel- Up, you idiot. We wait. We wait for hope. Hope. That's all we have now is hope. That's right. Hope Constance St. Clair. The Animus. Somebody looking for hope. Hope. Thank God you're here. From the look of this crime scene, God's had nothing to do with it. Julian Zog. The Armenian have two, ten, five hundred pounds. No signs of bullet wounds or entries. Shots fired. Still waiting on the test from the lab to see if the death had anything to do with chemicals. The letter seems to be uh, some sort of a drawing. Shut up, rookie! She can see for herself. It's a clue. There's a key here somewhere. I thought it also might help that you know that this victim is the lead suspect in the downtown Spring Street robbery. Is that the one that killed her partner? Yes, you insensitive prick. It's okay. Thank you. That does help. So, the victim had this letter on his person. The letter containing a sketch. All we can make from the sketch is that there's a key. Yes, it's a key, but a key to what? On the drawing, it looks like they're in some sort of a cavern. We check the surrounding areas, and whatever it looks like a cavern, the closest thing it looks like a three-way overpass. And it can't be a three-way overpass because there's stuff dripping from the ceiling in the sketch, and there's hope. There's no hobos in the sketch, so it's obvious. Did you check his butt? What? Did you check his butt? No. Why would we? Do Shut that? up. Rookie! Hope! What do you need? Some rubber gloves, a pair of scissors, and a candy bar. A candy bar? I get hungry when I'm fishing. Mexico, fuck you! 